This is the Iron Trader. Now the pits closed here at uh, 2.30. That was about a little over three hours ago. So we are going to review crude oil here and natural gas. At the end of the video, the support and resistance levels are posted. This video is for information purposes only. Not a recommendation to buy, sell any stock, buy the ETF. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right. Here we have crude oil, your daily chart. Now, uh, before we get started here, the uh, EIA report came out, and actually, uh, crude had a pretty good draw there today, uh, but gasoline, this list, that's always a big build, uh, so we got to see how this is all going to shake out here. Now, remember, tomorrow, the uh, natural gas EIA report will be out at 1030, and then on Friday, we have the old rig count. Okay, let's get started here. Today, right, what we have here is the daily chart. Now, you can see here that she just fell right off a cliff here, okay? So what we were doing is we were watching this here, this uh, OPEC meeting, okay? That was this candle right here. Uh, if you look at this candle here, see how double top that is? That was your sign there that you either got to sell your long position or short it, and I, I, I did both. I'm still long the uh, uh, SEO. Um, I didn't scalp any UCO today. There just was nothing happening, but the SEO was working good. It was up uh, almost 7% today. Okay, so, when you look at this chart here, look at this 50-day rolling over, the 21-day rolling over, the 8-day rolling over. You just can't get through everything. And then today, boom, down she goes. But see this series of lower low and lower highs? That's never good. So what we have to do here is you look at today's low here on this downside. So you want to look at uh, 69.11. And then what we do here, we just come right over to the uh, uh, charts here and see what we have here. Okay, so next in line is going to be uh, 68.71. And then what we have here on this candle is 67.50. We have uh, 67.35. And then we have the big retest here of 67.05. Now, let me just get this a little bit smaller here. Okay, that was this candle of 67.05. Okay, so there we had a lot of good support here. Okay, all the way through, even going back to this candle here, because you had 66.82, and that held it up really, really good here. Okay, so we're going to see if that is going to get there first and is it going to hold. So watch this key level here, 67.05. And then we come over to this candle right here. You're looking at um, uh, 66.82. Now, if that is lost, then we come over to this candle here. You're looking at 65.65. Here we have 65.38. We have 64.36. And then your big retest here of 63.64. Okay, so that exactly is where our target's here. This is the critical one to watch is this 67.05. If that's lost here, we follow these candles down all the way to a possible retest of that 63, uh, 64 here. Now, you look at uh, what you have here for, for this chart here. You can see how it ran right on up here, double top, came down here sideways here, tried to rally up here, but just isn't working here, okay? So bottom line, you know, Saudi Arabia, they did a lot of, uh, they're going to be doing here cuts as far as the first of the year of 2.2 million. And you say, wow, that's pretty good. You know, oil should go up. Well, you know, you have to ask yourself, why are they doing this? Okay, if everything's so great, the economy's so great, and everything's production, everything's so great here, and demand is so great, why are you cutting 2.2 million barrels per day? Okay, uh, not very good here. Now, we can see how this is going to shake out here at the end of the year. Uh, but right now here, this is just a total bearish pattern here. Now, you look at your uh, uh, MACD, you fell right off there, off a cliff. Your green is back below your red here, and your RSI here is now headed right down into uh, oversold territory. Uh, again, that doesn't mean that it can't go lower and then ride the bottom, okay? So right now you have no divergences here on your uh, RSI or your MACD here. So this just, looks, um, this just looks lower here. So the key bottom line is just watch today's low here when the future's open here at six. Uh, that's at 69.11. If not, we can work these candles here, possibly all the way down to this candle right here at that 67. Uh, 05 here. If that held, then we can, you know, see how, how everything is going. But what you need here is you need a reversal candle like you, what you had here. Okay, you have crashed all the way down and then rallied right up. That's called the red dog. Okay, and then we can you can work yourself higher the same way with here. See, you fell all the way down. Oh, let's jump in on the shorts and then she just rallied up hard. Okay, so that's what you're looking for is a reversal candle here or a higher low, something that says that the selling is done. Right now, the selling, it just is not done, okay? So let's just look here on the upside. So 
what you want to do is you want to look at this candle, this one low right here. You're looking at 72.02, uh, and then we look back to this candle here. This is that uh, 72.37. Very, very critical. If you can get above that, then we just work our way up here. This is going to be a big, big time resistance here. This 74.24, this uh, 8 SMA at 75.69, and then you have 78.08. Now, and when the future is open here at 6 here, which is only about 15 minutes away, this 8 SMA is going to be lower. This 21 SMA here is going to lower. The 50 day was going to be lower here. So just keep in mind here, just don't really look at the price. Just look at the moving average uh, right there. Okay, so that is going to be your big time resistance. If you can have any kind of rally, same way with your uh, 21 SMA here. But right now, I'd be more concerned here with the lower low. So again, watch today's low. That's 69.11. If that's lost here, your target is going to be the 67.05. All right, let's take a look here on a weekly and a monthly. Okay, here we go. Here we have the old monthly chart. Now, you can see here where I was always pointing out this 200-day. Well, that went right below here. But now the key is here is going to be this 69.07, okay? Very, very crucial here today, okay? So want to watch that big 50 SMA here. So you can see here in the past, it held it up here really nice. Came down, retest, retest. Again, this is a monthly chart here, but that's going to be crucial resistance on the closing for the end of uh, December here, okay? That's 69.07. Now, you can see where this 200-day here, the 7036, that was a nice target, but she just came right on through here. So now, we just have to look at these candles right uh, that are all going on here. There's that 6705, uh, if that is going to be lost here, and then we just follow these candles down, 6538 here. You got 6436, and then your big retest here of 6364. You can see your RSI here, plenty of room to go on a downside. This has been bearish all the way from here. When you crossed over there, that's never good, okay? So it rallied up here, tried to rally up again, and then absolute nothing came right on off here, okay? So right now, this the, the price on uh, um, crude oil here looks lower until you can get some kind of a reversal candle, something going that says the selling is done. All right, let's take a look here at the old Natty Gas. All right, here we have natural gas, your daily and your weekly chart. Now, you can see where... It, it basically blew all through these uh, SMAs here. So now, bottom line here, what we have to do is we just have to follow the candle. So look at today's low, okay, 2.54, okay? So then we come over here to the left, and then what do we have here next? There's your 2.54, okay? So that's where it held. So next candle we want to do is we want to look right down here, okay, looking at 2.50, uh, and then we come over to this candle here, you're looking at 2.468 here, and then we have your candle that is basically over here, which is 2.45, and then you have a big retest candle here at 2.425, okay? So that is basically uh, your targets here. So it, it held uh, the 2.454, uh, this level right here, okay? But then we just have to go to the next one, 2.5, and then follow the candles down, 2.46. And then here's your big retest sitting at 2.425. Now, again, this could go lower, okay? So when you look at this bearish pattern, you could actually come down here and retest this 1.946 very, very easily here, okay? So you look at your RSI, you get into oversold uh, area here. Doesn't mean it can't flatline and go lower. This is definitely bearish. I've been pointing this out for weeks here. That green is below the red. That's never good here. This looks like this rolled over here. Uh, your green is below your red here. So this could take it much, much lower here, okay? So uh, you, you just have to watch all these candles here as they progress down here, all the way down to a possible retest of 1.946 here. Now, this time of the year, usually natural gas wants to have a little run up here. So on the upside here, what we have to do is you want to look at this 200 SMA here, okay? So that's that 2.628. If you can get above that 200 SMA right there, okay, then what we want to do is we want to look to the, to the retest of that price channel at 2.649, and then you got 2.73, your 8 SMA here. Uh, above that, we can go to this 2.86 here, but right now this 8 SMA is totally crucial, and this 200A, totally crucial, 
Okay, so these are your big boys on the upside. On the downside, just watch today's low because you could whittle that all the way down to 2.42 very, very easily and even a possible retest of 1.946. Now, today's trading was absolutely uh, great. I scalped a little bit in uh, UNG and then I got into that cold and uh, I got 10 points today out of KOLD. So that was a really, really good trade. So right now I'm flat. Okay, and I'm going to wait and see what the futures open here at 6 p.m., what that's going to do here, and then also tomorrow morning. Okay, so again, upside, watch this 2.62, very critical. Watch that price saddle at 2.64. If you can get above here, we look at this 8 SMA, 2.73. It will be lower when the futures open. So just watch the SMA here, not so much the number. On the downside, watch the key 2.5, uh, 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 4 level. That was today's low. And then again, if that is lost here, then we just come down and follow these candles all the way on down. There's your 2.54, there's your 2.50, there's your 2.46, and then there's your retest there of 2.42. Okay, well, I'll have more for you here on the crude and natural gas here uh, tomorrow morning before uh, eight o'clock. Remember, the EIA report, along with all the support and resistance levels, I posted right after this video. Thanks for watching.